Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Rachel. Brill from COA, that you're playing harp until more people will come in and joining us near the fire in Mitzpeya Ir, which is in Jerusalem near Kibbutz Ramat Rachel. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Jonathan. Okay, so we're starting. We're waiting for a few more people. Maybe, Jonathan, you want to do a little song in the fire, and then we'll do a guided meditation. Um, Jonathan, do they want to be part of the meditation? Then um, maybe you can invite them after you. Maybe do... The, and then the, we're going to also have a wonderful surprise. He has a really big Rams chauffeur. So we're going to hear any that as well today, tonight. So I Rachel, could do the other song too, if you would like. Um, I think a song, which song? The, uh, the song, uh, Wonderful World. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's do that. If Jonathan is not coming in now. Jonathan, did you want to play now? Okay. Do one more song until he comes in to the fire. Please. Okay. What a wonderful world. Thank you. I see trees oh, green. I the snow. I see the blue.
colors of the rainbow so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people going by i see friends shaking hands saying how do you do they're really saying i love you i hear babies cry Hey, we can see you. Okay. But it's nice if we try now. And I want to do the meditation afterwards. So try now in front of the fire. If I do it in front of the fire, they won't hear me here. They won't hear me. If I stand here, maybe. You can't see. Okay. You can can't see. Oh, so come here. I told them, I told them, I told them. Hi, everybody. Mm -hmm. Hi, everyone. Hi. Nice to see you, Rachel. Nice it's been, to see you. Uh, oh, yes. Wish January 2020, huh? Wish I could be there with you. In a sense, you are with us. I am. Thank, thank you for this opportunity. <laughs> yeah, you remember we played in, uh, in the Greek colony together there. Yeah, that was really cool. That was so much fun. That was two and a half years ago. <laughs> Even more. Yeah, we got a jam. Yeah, we should do it on Zoom. It doesn't. There's uh, too much of a delay, you know. Right. Well, Corona and all that. Okay, I'm gonna sing a song. <clears throat> Mm. Can you guys see the fire? No. In the camera? Yeah, now you can see the fire, right? Now, yeah. Okay, uh, so this song is called Ish. It's fire. Ish. The boy that betoch Boilet mechame metetalevet kaniti, boilet et anet sahashalet. A esh bifni mangat kohai meshaga, o lail toha hofesh apnimi. A esh esh mistori mishlan shel revadi, mal aksuma shel teva advali. Thank 
מעלה, בין אפר לעפר היא מנגינה. אש תמיד נמצאת איתי, כפרח החיים המתרחש. בוערת כאן איתי, בוערת את הנצח השלם. האש היא נמצאת מנוגעת, כל חיים משגע. החופש הפנימי, באש יש מסתורים משלל של רבדים, מראה עצומה של טבע הדברים. אש, 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 שנדע להשתמש באש. I wish we, we will know how to direct our fire uh, in a good, positive, productive way in this life. <laughs> Thank you. I know that guy. <laughs> ah, hello. Hello. So I'm going to share the program for everybody who knows what's going to be happening tonight. And um, we are looking forward to a few wonderful creation stories by uh, wonderful speakers. And we're also going to have Eyal Davidov come and do some drumming and Yonatan come back and singing and Rachel Brill from Tkoa. Let me just share with you who's going to do the sharing of the creation story and why are we doing the creation story today? Because it's the Hebrew calendar of the new year, Rosh Hashanah. And it's time to really appreciate what we had the last year and be praying that we will have a wonderful new year for all of us, everybody that we know, the whole world. And it's very, very important to start it on the right foot and also to be in a forgiveness mode for what happened in the past. So we'll do a little meditation as well to ground ourselves. And I'm very excited to tell you after two and a half years, we're doing again in Yerushalayim. We did it last year, but not out on the land. So it's really nice to have a fire pit here with people and food at Mitzpeh Yair and Kibbutz Ramat Rachel, which is just a little bit outside of downtown Yerushalayim. And we can see also the Temple Mount from around the trees. It's really nice. We connected the dot before when we did the blowing of the shofar. Yonatan will, sh will blow the shofar again, which is uh, a beautiful tradition one does before the high holidays to really bring in and usher in the new and also to do a cleansing. And hearing that sound is very important for the, the um, tikkun haneshama, which is the cleansing of the soul and also for the world to hear that, those sounds. So let me just give you the program. And um, so we'll have Dr. Yongander, he's the founder of the World United Events, and he'll, he'll talk about the spiritual insights of creation from India. Then we'll have Yitzhak Evan Shai. He's actually also Rabbi Marmorstan. He'll talk about Rob Cook's teachings around the creation. And we'll have a Chutan Vong Eisen talk about myths and stories. And Yvette Nachmiya about the Greek mythology. Yosef Yitzchak Jacobs from Tzvat about the creation story on the biblical level. And Chaya Rivka Lapkin about the Torah-based creation also from Tzvat. And we will have a kibbutz fellow friend also come in, Yizhar Cohen Tzedek will talk about honey for the new sweet new year, which will be lovely. And Amrita Anna Zumel from Sweden, who's just landing from Spain, she might come in for storytelling in between. So thank you. And for everybody who wants to be in a meditation mode, you can at this time lie down on the machzalot, on the beautiful area around the fire that we created or if you're at home find a sweet little spot on your chair or on the sofa and then close all your phones close our phones and uh, 
Okay, anybody wants to lie down? Okay, so let's just really try to take this time to be in our own selves and, and receive the abundance to come. Amen. Yiminenu Michaelu Mismolenu Gabriel Umilfanenu Maria Umiachorenu Rafael Umitachtenu Imadama Umialenu Shinatel so let's really connect to our higher self, to our I am presence or our connection to our higher source, to Hashem or if it's creator or our guiding spirits. And let's invite divine liquid light to come in, to embrace us, to envelop our being with love and light and tender white liquid knowledge of the source of pure intention to clear our mind, body and soul, every cellular structure, every thought pattern, every created cell, every body, organ, bones, limbs and skin, a blood and let us imagine a beautiful divine waterfall just flowing through the whole nookets and crevices of all our body parts down through the crown chakra into our skull cleansing our seeing our third eye cleansing our soul in our body cleansing our throat chakra breathing into our torso let's put a hand on our heart a hand on our stomach align ourselves through the earth of jerusalem through the roots of merkaz olam for the center of the world and all religions all faith and all connection to the divine. And let that light be a guide and protection for us the coming year. And also a cleansing, let it, let it go through our legs down, all this waterfall through the chakras now also, through the heart chakras, solar plexus and breathe into our bodies breathing in the light and exhaling what doesn't serve us anymore slowly down the lower chakras second and first through our legs pouring down to mother earth all that we don't need mama earth will take care and then shake away what we don't need all the last year's experiences and difficulties grounding into mother earth and her love is pulling us down so deep her gravity to renew to reseed to rebulb the coming year
And when we cleared and cleaned ourselves, may we feel that earth energy come back to us, the lava, the fire, the intensity of her love for us through the layers of Mother Earth, down through our feet, soles, into our legs, warming us up, up to our lower abdomen, solar plexus, our lungs and heart. And breathe into your four chambers, four chambers of love, the rhythm of love. And see what needs to be cleaned in the garden of the last year. What weeds do we need to take out? What are we wanting to leave? And what are we wanting to let go of? What grass, what flowers, what vegetables? And since it was the year of the Shemitah, most of us don't have had a blooming garden, but it's been a spiritual blooming. The year of the seven years of healing and resting of the land. However, it's time to bring forth new fruition. So let's clean the heart and the garden of our soul as much as we can. Tilt the earth and plant anew wonderful seeds of potential and love and really feel that in your heart come in and sprout sprout with energy of total renewal eager to bloom again and so there is a point in our heart called nekudabalev and if we smile we even just put up a little bit of our side corners of the mouth, it opens that heart muscle. So it brings that energy up to our crown chakra, through the throat chakra and opening it up to the whole space of our keter. And you can imagine any kind of bloom above your head, a tree, a tulip, a sunflower, a garden that wants to now be renewed. Maybe put up your hands and just feel the abundance to come for the new year, a new creation story, personal and collective to come for our world, for our loved ones. And since we're so close to the old city, let's transport ourselves around the four corners, the four quarters, the Armenian, the Christian, the Muslim, and the Jewish quarter. And let's usher in all the people of faith, all walks of life and hold hands and say, let's co-create a future of love together, a future of tolerance and breathing together, holding hands. Imagining a golden spiral, just opening up through the core of Mother Earth and through the Kodesh Kodashim at the core of Mother Earth, all the way to the edge of the galaxy, connecting us to a consciousness of new paradigms, new fruitions. Connecting to our higher self our higher knowing and how we healing ourselves and others. Mother Earth, all nations, 
or creations or people. And let's just send these loving energies out to the whole world from here. Golden spiral forms and white doves of peace. And sending it to our loved ones, to our families, people who need healing all over the globe. To hear a new creation story, God willing. Amen. And just really imagine all the beautiful people. We're like little puddles of water. And then we're connecting and then we become small little lakes and rivers and oceans of consciousness together. Until we are in a new place of love, abundance, joy and healing. Amen. And maybe there's a personal message for you. As we're coming back, we're holding hands in the old city, slowly coming back to where you are in your rooms or here around the fire. Grounding that energy. Thank you for reseedling, to rekindling, to rekindling, and recreating. Thank you, Rachel from Koa, your heart. Thank you, Eva. Thank you. God bless you. You have God to come back you. to Tokoa to visit. Yes. Shabbat. I love you guys over there. Thank you. God bless. And um, we're going to maybe listen to some of our teachers here, like uh, Yvette, until Dr. Yongarna comes, or... Um, <clears throat> Um, Jonathan, you want to play another song? Or Yvette, you want to share your Greek mythology now? Yeah. Okay. Um, we're waiting for Dr. Yongandar to come in from India. So I'm going to change places here with Yvette Nachmiya. She is a wonderful storyteller and poet and works at the Israel Museum. And she is from one of the Greek islands and she has her story. Blessings. Hello, everyone. 
I'm going to read to you a little story. It's a picture book on the creation. It's called The World is Being Born. The earth came out from darkness. It was so long ago that nobody remembers how this happened. She was very beautiful. She was sitting by herself and was looking on her body at the sky. Blue in the morning and dark at night with stars that shone. One night, the sky um, signed to her. He put a few stars to shine brightly. Wow, this is so beautiful, thought the earth. He is signaling to me. Why should I be by myself all alone? I will talk to him as well. And that's how they met each other. Since then, they started to live together and had many kids. From these kids, the world was born slowly, slowly. The first kids of the earth and the sky were the titanes, titans. titans, six boys and six girls. A bit later, the earth gave birth to another three. At those days, people used to have lots of kids. And these additional kids were a bit scary, they look different. Instead of having two eyes, they had just one eye in the middle of their face. These children were the Cyclops. This is the Mother Earth and the sky. The father sky started to worry about his family and the, and the things of their lives became more difficult with the next birth of the earth. This time around, there were three monsters and each one of them had 50 heads and a hundred hands. What are these things? I'm so, I, I feel embarrassed to look at these ugly kids, said the sky to the earth. But she, like all mothers, found all her kids beautiful, mm -hmm. even if they were monsters. But the sky decided to take away the ugly kids. And one day he trumped them. He took them from the hand as if to take them on a walk. And instead of taking them for a walk, he put them in a dark home at the most deserted place of the earth. This place was called Tartara. The earth got very angry at the sky and she decided to separate with the sky.
sky. We stop here for today. Yeah. And at some other time, we'll continue. Thank you very much. And Shana Tova to all of you. Thank you, Vit. Shana Tova. Bravissima. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Umetuka. So I realized uh, you guys didn't hear the shofar uh, on this Zoom yet. And there's a few people that came in already. And uh, maybe you guys uh, want to join us. I don't know what's your name. To, uh, to blow, blow the shofar, you know? So uh, there's three kinds of, uh, of uh, ways to blow it. A long blow and uh, uh, sporadic and like really, really fast sporadic. So that's what, what uh, three, I, seven, uh, I put. I put an intention for this year to have uh, our uh, our aspirations and our our projects manifested in a good way, in a positive way, uh, to feel love in our hearts for ourselves and for everyone, and to feel how much we are loved by others also to have balance in our everyday life, to, to find a good, nice flow with using our time that we have. Shana Tova, everybody. Shana Tova. Like this, you know, you can see it like this too. Like this, that's how it works. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's like a, a petting, like a little petting zoo kind of thing behind here. So every time I blow, it's the third time I've blown it, and every time they all go like, whoa, 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 <laughs> all the animals. So it's, a, it's, a, it's adds, adds a lot of energy. <laughs> the animals are waking up too. Yeah, do it again. One the more. animals and the people are waking up exactly. to the sounds of the chauffeur. See that? All right. That's true. True that. So one more. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do until Rav uh, Marbles take comes in. Uh, she wants to, 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 to blow the shofar. Okay, you want to sit down? Very good. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll offer some people if they want to blow, so uh, our friend Ruth is gonna... Then I'm gonna do... Thank you, wonderful. The more of us that play the chauffeur, the better. Okay, so I'm going to do the creation story, my own little story now until we get uh, Rav Marmorstein and Dr. Yungander in and the folks from Tzvat. So um, I'm going to do share screen and you guys in the fire can see it, I assume. Let me see. Okay, just a minute. Can you see that in the, from there? What is that? Okay. Ah. So this is my artwork and it's a performance I did. You can see, excellent. It's a performance I did with Michaela Harari at the first station in Jerusalem. 
and we co-created um, a dance with my artwork and I projected it on the walls and she danced. We have videos of it, but this is the creation story. She was dancing and I'm going to tell it in stories. Okay. As I said, it was a performance piece and a narration of images from the fifth dimensional artwork. And so it was written by me and created by me and danced by the flamenco dancer Michaela Harari. Our world is a turbulent place lately and many have difficulty in finding inner peace or communicating or sharing their lives with loved ones. Also, many have a hard time embracing the other side, the male understanding, the female and vice versa. This art dance or presentation is a hope for our world to find divine balance between men and women and all beings in a fragile world. As you may already know, in the beginning of creation, there was that immense spark in the universe. And there was such a bright, brightness that it shook open a whole new existence yes and we live in it until today the light became so bright which made the female power extremely happy so she began to sing her song the cosmic opera here you can see a woman to the left She's looking at the sound of the universe and she's singing a song of the Shrina. Yet the male energies could not stand or shall we say understand or shall we say understood stand under the new sound vibrations. So they ran away from the Shrina, the female principle of God, the feminine. This is called the man avoids void. So he's running away from the void to his next journey. God face saddened, seeing both the male and female sides on his own creation were not uniting as one. So he enrolled the cosmic forces to play. They became a dance between the micro and the macro evolutions. Furthermore, God reached out his hand and moved into our aid as he would do anything to make us get along and to be together. When the Shrina saw how God is behind all matters and phenomena in the universe, the female energies began to dance in delight, feeling reborn again. Woohoo! Female energies. This motion made God seek out the Shekhinah in new ways, rejoicing into an even higher unity. The cosmic waves and our planet's water began to shiver with joy, making the male and female energies unite as well. So above, so below. The angels now also took special delight in this newly emerged love. Now a true balancing was restored upon Mother Earth and the cosmic garden begins to evolve into the Garden of Eden.
the end. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Thank you. May we meet together, all of us, God willing. All right. Thank you. Did you hear the harp? Yes, Sorry. thank you. That was beautiful background. I was trying to put the high for the female and the low for the male together and make a nice thing there. Oh, man. I love it. That's great. The balancing <laughs> of forces. On the spot. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Beautiful intuition. Lovely. All right, so we're going to now listen to Rav Cook's teaching through Rav Marmister and Yitzhak Evan Shaish, and then Hello. Jonathan will share music again. Shalom Obracha, Rav Marmister from Yitzhak, Yitzhak, Yitzhak. Okay, he doesn't like to be called Rabbi. Yitzhak, no, from I don't mind Rabbi, but Marmister, it's more Yitzhak. Rabbi Yitzhak is better than. Marmerstein, Evan Shaish. Sorry. Okay. Nothing, nothing to be sorry about. I'm just sharing. Nothing to be sorry about. Nothing to be sorry about. Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem. We have oh, people also around the fire. Uh, so imagining talking to them, it's just dark. Wow. Okay. Nice. Where's that fire? We're at Mitzpeh Yair near Kibbutz Ramat Rachel. Uh, well, with your permission, I, I don't think I, what I came to is a, is a, a, is a tshuva. It's hard for me not to do a poem just because the, the largest, the longer stuff is longer, but I want to share with you uh, what the, what the invitation is in this process of coming to the end of Elul and beginning Tishrei. Tishrei is the seventh month of the year. And it's like the Shabbat of the year, the same way the Shabbat is after six days. Tishrei is after the seventh month. This is where we're, we're a week away from the seventh, even less than that, right? The, the seventh month begins on Sunday night, beginning of the seventh month. And the seventh month of the year is like the Shabbat of the year. So the entire month we have like, the 10 days, including Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur. And then four days later, the seven, eight days of Sukkot and Shmini Atzeret, the winter holiday. So the whole seventh month is a, um, is a return to, well, to, to, um, it's a return and a reaching to a, a certain wholeness. And the invitation is to experience that wholeness. Now, I hope I can share the screen. Will you let me share the screen? I think I can. You need to let me share the screen. I want to yeah. show the text. So bring back later the host. Of course. Okay. 